Log leaders are Sibabora opened up a seven point lead at the top of the Castle Laga Premier Soccer League log standings following a well deserved 2 1 victory over Tel 1 as Premier League football are returned to Ascot Stadium Sunday afternoon. The Shamba based visitors are backed by their travelling band of fans and wavering even when their side trailed would not disappoint a striking win their iron was hot to back at three points and that set a difficult challenge for the chasing lot. Go Bujugo had shot intent as early as the seventh minute. Captain Walter Mson are finding space to strike a ferocious shot that whizzed the inches above the bar with keeper Chris Berechena a spectator. Thereafter, it was largely an eventless duel the next quarter of an hour, not producing clear-cut opportunities for either side. Tiller, the host, opened the scoring after a rebound off a Kuzai Jason shot was tucked home by Blessing Sibanda. Tel Wana almost doubled their one-goal advantage off a corner that Washington Navaya could not head powerfully at goal. Keeper Talbot Chumba collected. The log leaders are battled to bring the scoreline level and Junior Makunike would poke a speculative driver that was never too close to the target to Warren Berechena. Just after the half-hour marker, Simbabura were lucky to survive a tail one attack after Walter Mson lost position as Go Puju Go pinned the visitors searching for the equalizer. Tel one's turnover found the visitors exposed at the back. A switch of play to the left flank was ruled offside by assistant referee Mlungi Sima Tutu. Another glance at the moment seems to suggest otherwise. Simbabura were level nine minutes shy of the break. Togo Simsebe picking up captain Walter Mson's attempted goal to turn and shoot her past Mberechena's vain diving attempts. The match would enjoy almost a 10-minute stoppage after referee Temiko Sinube awarded Simbabura a free kick, having adjudged that the visitors had not benefited from advantage play. Telwana would none of it, seemingly threatening a walkout. They would be convinced to return and play resumed with the Msona's free kicker flashing wide of the left-hand post. The hosts almost restored their lead off a speculative drive from Kuzai Jason, who almost caught Zimbabwe keeper Talbot Shumba off guard with a ferocious drive from the center circle. Shumba made a crucial save on the line. One all at halftime, a Simbabora fighting back to draw level as the host unable to protect a letter don't stretch their slender lead. The beginning of the second half, I saw Simbabora threaten first with Isheune Sumauchi's header landing on the roof of the nets. Telwana responded with Jason Kuzai picking up position on the edge of the Simbabora box to set up Ngose Abu Masilela who could not direct his shot on target. Kuzai, around whom most of Telwan's dangerous raids evolved, thought he had restored his side's lead after slicing his low shot marginally wide of the right hand post. Simbabora were as good as home and dry when Mtogo Simsebe picked up position midway the tail one half and surging towards goal. He looked with one thing in mind and did with Glasser what separates average from quality. Mseve striking clinical via the bottom corner of the net, a beauty worth winning any contest. 2-1 to go, would you go? After the goal, Simbabura opted for time management of the game, perhaps a reversal of tactics adopted by Tel One when the game looked in their favor. Now a weapon to safeguard Go Buju Go's lead and it got them over the line. Well deserved winner for the log leaders, great character in fighting back from a goal down and from now on the task to maintain if not stretch their 7 point lead begins. As for Tel One, it would appear there could have been more rewards had they gone for consolidating rather than preserving a single goal, more so with time consuming tactics. Whilst they may have mastered the art of delaying the game when conditions favor them, at the end they were meant to have a test of their own medicine as Simbabora went for winding down the clock after the second goal had shaken the nets. The log leaders attained objective and Go Puju Go seems to be running away with the title to Shamba. For the Premier Soccer League at Ascot Stadium in Gweru, I'm Tandazani Zimbra.